Hello dear students, welcome to Partnership Retirement Problems. Today we will work out one essay type problem. Easily you can score full marks, 15 marks or 20 marks whatever it may be the uh, marks of this problem but you can score 100 percent. So that kind of problem we will see. The problem is given on the desktop you can see. First we will discuss then after that we will work out. So here A, B, C are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 1 respectively. Their balance sheet as on 31st March 2020 was as under. If you see the balance sheet asset side cash, debtors, furniture, machinery, building, simple items. Now liabilities had credit cards, outstanding expenses, general reserve, capitals of A, B, C. On the above adjustments, what is given on the above date, Mr. C retired from the business. C is retiring. The following are the are agreed among partners. What are the conditions? First one, machinery revalued 23,000, buildings 40,000. Remember one thing, revaluation account we open when partner is admitting or retiring also. Retiring term also we have to calculate exactly what is the status of the assets and liabilities. That is the reason it is given. Machinery and buildings both are revalued and depreciation of furniture by 10 percent. Outstanding expenses 1000 need to be paid, sorry 1000 rupees need not to be paid. Need not to be paid means revaluation account credit side will write. Anything is payable, expenses, losses, revaluation account, debit side will write. This is not required to pay, already paid, so that we have to cancel. For cancellation, we will be writing into the revaluation account credit side. Next, goodwill of the firm is valued at 20,000. Goodwill is raised to 20,000. It will be in the business only uh, because they did not say that write off. When goodwill is raised, goodwill account attached to all the partners account, A, B, C in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 1. Next, A should bring 20,000 and B 10,000 as additional capital to pay the amount due to retiring partner Mr. C. A and B decided to get additional capital. When they are bringing additional capital, cash account attached to A's account to B's account, simple entry. Okay? So, as per that, a cash account attached 30,000 to A second 20,000 to B second 10,000. Simple general entry will pass it. Give general entries and necessary ledger accounts and new balance sheet. So, let us start first general entries. General entries first will take uh, uh, goodwill is raised, goodwill we will see later. Okay. Machinery is revalued, machinery is revalued. So, we will take first. Machinery is revalued means it is uh, machinery value is 25,000. 25,000 to it has come down to 23 means revaluation account debit side. Revaluation account that are that are to machinery machinery account it is 2000 And buildings, buildings is 40,000, buildings is always appreciation. So, this will take next entry. Mm. Depreciation and furniture, this is also revaluation account debit side. So, I am writing revaluation account, whatever we write it on the debit side, that I am taking in one entry only. So, depreciation on furniture 10 percent to depreciation on furniture. Furniture value is here 20,000. 20, 10 percent comes to 2000. Outstanding expenses need not to be paid, need not to be payments, revaluation account, credit side it comes. Debit side we have only this much. Next to revaluation account, credit side what do you write? One is outstanding expenses, outstanding expenses account debt are and uh, building appreciation, buildings account appreciation on buildings debt are to revaluation account. Outstanding expenses are here 1000, buildings are 
appreciation and building. Building value is here 35,000. 35,000 to 40,000 means 5,000 appreciation. This is over. Next one, 3 first A bit, B bit, C bit is over. Now D bit, goodwill of the firm valued to 20,000. When goodwill is valued, goodwill account attached to all the partners account. Goodwill account attached to A's account, A's capital account, B's capital account, C's capital account. Goodwill is here 20,000. 20,000 we are distributing in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 1. 20,000 into 2 by 4 means 10,000. 2 is to 1 is to 1 means it comes to 5,000, 5,000. Being goodwill raised and distributed to the all the partners. Goodwill is that. And next after that uh, in balance sheet we have reserve, general reserve always we have to distribute it to the partners, all the partners. So now fourth entry is general reserve account data to A's capital account to B's capital account to C's capital account. General reserve is here 10,000. In the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 1. When 20,000 is divided, we got this much. 10,000, when we distributed it 2 is to 1 is to 1, half. 5,000, 2,500, 2,500. See the logic. General reserve is distributed. Then after that, uh, A should bring 20,000 and uh, E bit. A should bring 20,000 and B 10,000 as additional capital. When they are getting additional capital cash account data to data to A's account to B's account. How much they are bringing? A should bring 20,000 and B 10,000. So, it is 30,000. Being cash brought by A and B. Okay. After that, we will open the revaluation account. So, revaluation account here only I will open. We can save the place. Debit side, we have machinery 2000 and depreciation on furniture 2000. Credit side, we have outstanding expenses, 1000 and uh, appreciation on buildings, 6000, 5000 sorry. So, it is 6000. Six thousand minus 2000, 4000, it comes to 2000. So, 2000 profit transferred to A, B, C in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. So, 2 is to 1 is to 1. So, it is 6000 into 2 is to 1 is to 1 means 2 by 4. 3000 for A and if it is 1, Three thousand. Uh, first one is two is to one is to one, no? So two by four. Two by four means two two. Three thousand first one, and if it is one by four. One by four. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred. 
So, this is over devaluation account. Then after that, uh, we will open first cash account, partners capital account we will open first A, B, C, sorry X, Y, Z, no? Uh, A, B, C. First, when they brought the capital, their capital which is given in the balance sheet, capital account, so it is credit side by balance brought down, by balance brought down 40,000, 20,000 and 20,000. Then after that from here we will take goodwill first, by goodwill 10,000. 10,000, 5,000, 5,000. After goodwill, general reserve. General reserve 5,000, 2,500 and 2,500. After this, they are getting cash. When they are getting cash, it is on the credit side. By cash, we can say. By cash, 20,000 and 10,000. Next revaluation account, profit they got. By revaluation account, 3,000, 1,500, 1,500. Anything else to write? That is all. Okay, we will total up. So, AS is here 40,000, 10,000, 50, 50,000, 55,000, uh, 55 plus 70, 75,000, 75 plus 3, 78,000. And BC is here 20,000, 30, 35, 35, 37, 500. 38, 39,000 and C, C is here 20, 25, 25 and this is together 4,000, 29,000. Now what to do? We got this much of the uh, amount in the capital accounts. A's and B's will be balance carried down to balance carried down 78,000 and 39,000. B's we do not say carried on because he is retiring. When he is retiring, we will not keep the amount in the partnership. What we will do? We will give it to the C. So, retiring partner will be taking his amount. So, that is why we will say to cash account. It is 29,000. Can write retiring partner. Retiring partner always takes the cash. Over. Now we will open the cash account. After cash account, we will see the balance sheet. To open the cash account, what we need first? Cash. Cash is how much is given? 10,000 to balance brought down 10,000. Apart from this, in general entries we can find only one entry. So, cash is debited. Debit side you will write A's account, B's account, 20,000 and 10,000. So, total 40,000. 40,000 cash is there. So, that will say by balance carry down. 40,000. Everything is over. Now we can open the balance sheet. Balance sheet first we will start with the cash only. Cash is here 40,000. 
cash 40,000. Then after that, if you see the uh, capitals, 1s will check this totals 40,000, 10,000, 1,000, uh, 5,000, 40,000, 10,000, 1,000, 5,000. So, uh, if you see the total 40,000 plus 15,000 plus 20,000 plus 3,000. Forty, ten, fifty, and uh, your revaluation account, how much is that? Profit is here, 2,000, sorry, this is 2,000 only. 2,000 when we distribute it, it you will get uh, 1500, 500. So, this is 1000, 500, 500. So, ultimately it comes 30, 76,000. And B is here if you total up. 1000 it is decreasing 20000 55000 2500 500 and 10000 it comes to 38000 in the same way here also it is 20 plus 5 25 uh, 28000 it is 28,000. So, now we will take this first capitals. Profit was 2,000. I have taken it as a 6,000. So, there we, we made a small mistake. Anyway, it is rectified. So, capital of A, B, C 76,000. B, C is here 38,000. C we do not write because C is retired, he got the amount of 29,000, sorry 28,000 and left, left the business, that is it. So, C, C we are going not going to take. Now, next, uh, what else is there? Assets are debtors. Debtors are 30,000. Next, furniture, there is a depreciation. Furniture value is 20,000 minus depreciation 2,000, 18,000. After that, machinery 25,000. Machinery also there is a depreciation of 2,000, so it is 23,000. Next, building appreciation is there. Building value is here given 35 plus 5000. This 40,000. Next, what else? Goodwill. Goodwill is distributed to the partners, but not written off. Written off means it is not written off, means it is in the business. When it is in the business, we will show it in the balance sheet. Goodwill. Goodwill is 20,000. Now coming to the liability side, we have written only the capitals. What else? Outstanding expenses are there. Outstanding expenses already given is 5000 and asking us to decrease it. It is decreasing. Total 5000 minus decrease it. So, it will be 4000 only. Next, what else? Creditors. Creditors is 25000. That is all. Did we miss anything? So, that is about the balance sheet. Let us uh, total up 76,000 plus 38,000 plus 29,000. It is 1,43,000. 
here also we will see it is 40 plus 30 comes to 70, 70, 88,000. 88,000 plus 23,000 plus 60,000. It is 1 lakh 70. 70, 18,000, 23,000 plus 40,000 plus 20,000. 1,71,000. There is some difference. We will see where we made mistake. One lakh forty three is correct. Cash is here. Uh, cash account we have opened. So cash account uh, did we miss anything? Oh yeah, yeah. This amount. C is cash account always do one thing after preparing this we are opening cash account cash account we have only one entry so this one and also this would be the next entry sixth entry you can see this take it as sixth entry C is going to get back his amount so that is cash we are saying debit side means here it comes credit side by cash by cash 28,000 it means carry down amount is here 12,000 so carry down is here 12,000 that is it so now let us check out anything else is there 12,000, 13, 30,000, 18,000, 23, 40 and 50 now you will get the same amount. We made a small mistake over there. 12,000 plus 13,000. 30 means 48,000. And 40,000. So it's 1,43,000. Let me give you a recap. A retirement of partner, one thing remember goodwill, how to handle the goodwill. Goodwill is raised here. Normal revaluation account, debit side, we have written whatever is decreasing, this is you know. And also revaluation account, credit side also we have written. And goodwill is raised to the partners. If it is written off, we would not take and see. It is only simply raised. Raised means goodwill account attached to A, B, C. In the same with general reserve and uh, A and B is getting new additional ca additional capital, additional capital means cash account attached to A and B. So this is the entry, after that what we have done, we prepared revaluation account. So debit side items 2000, 2000 we have written and credit side items 1000 and 5000. So we got profit of 2000, it is distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 1 to all the partners. Then after that we opened the capital accounts of the ABC. When we open capital accounts, opening balance we have written goodwill as per that and general reserve also as per this and uh, additional capital which is brought by the new partners, oh, sorry old partners, additional capital. So this entry we have written and revaluation account we got profit that is also written. After this balance carried on amount so that carried on only to the remaining partners A and B only. So this we said balance carried on. Retiring partner rather than carried on we are saying it as cash. Please remember this means he is taking the cash. Retiring will give 28,000 to him and leave this business. Now the same entry do not forget to write it in the cash account. We made that mistake. Please remember, so that is why after preparing partner's account, you have to prepare the cash account. Cash account, what is there? One is that when additional capital is brought, opening balance is you know, and additional capital brought by A and B, this. Then we are paying it off to C, this 28,000 comes debit to credit. Then ultimately you got 
ba cash closing cash of 12000 balance sheet also same amount we have taken 12000 12000 you know the rest of the items debtors furniture machinery good building and good will remember this good will good will is raised it is in the business only that is the reason we have shown in the balance sheet now liability side capital accounts of a and b uh, 76000 38000 we have written outstanding expenses creditors that's all simple so what you have to remember in this uh, retirement of partner is very important thing is goodwill another thing is that when partner is retiring that amount he has to take it back that's not called as a carry down we don't call it as a carry down we say it cash get off from the business take the cash and go so that is why carry down amount of the retiring partner we say it as a cash very important that has to be considered into the cash account also the rest of the problem is normal so hopefully you are feeling comfortable and will work out lot more problems related to the partners retirement of partner because this is also very much important for the examination point of view see the description box and playlist to find out more subjects more topics what is useful for you use it and also don't forget to share this videos with your near and dear stay blessed have a bright future good luck